morning hl fam welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another vlog i'm sitting here realizing that i did not have the vlog camera with me so um yeah i'm vlogging on my phone right now and i will pick up the vlog camera when i get back home um but yeah i wanted to pick up the camera because i am going to another consultation um so i told you guys when i got my braces off what i got my braces off or we got our braces off back in like September October that I wanted to get these teeth um made into regular size basically it's called teeth bonding or you could get veneers um I had a consultation back in like November and I can't remember how much they quoted me but I wasn't trying to pay that uh, much money for it um so you know time got away from me and now I am here at another dentist or another cosmetic dentist to do another consultation just to see what their ideas are um get an estimate um yeah because i really do want this done like obviously and then the thing is um my orthodontist left space in my in my smile to uh for the cosmetic dentist to put like extra teeth not extra teeth but like extra like tooth material on the tooth so it's like I'm, I'm walking around with like space in my teeth which is annoying um so yeah and I really want to get this done I've, I've I've wanted to get this done literally since high school um honestly so um I I'm just ready you know um so yeah I am going into the dentist today and hopefully they give me some good news and that it's not too pricey um and if it is pricey then I'll just just bite the bullet you know if that if it is um you know the same information that the person was giving me the de the dentist was giving me before then i'll know but if they're telling me something completely different then yeah we'll see so um i'm excited that my appointment is in like five minutes um but they don't open until my actual appointment so i'm just sitting in the car and i'm gonna go in in like five minutes so um yeah that's what's going on i don't know what this vlog is going to entail um but yeah it's gonna probably be a fun one so i'll see you guys in the dentist office so casually keep diving into concrete so bittersweet So I'm actually leaving the mall, did not have any plans to come here, but I had to run to Tory Burch really quick because um, I remember I bought those Tory Burch sandals that was on April 3rd. Um, I told you guys that the first time that I wore my Tory Burch sandals was on Mother's Day, which was true. Um, and when I went to the dentist this morning, when I was sitting in the chair, I noticed that the sole was coming apart. You know, like if someone wears shoes for like years or whatever, and um, they wear shoes so often that the sole begins to come up and people were like, like your shoes are clapping, like your shoes are talking to each other. That's how my shoe looked and I'm like, how is that even possible for the shoe, for the sole to be coming up like that? And I've worn them, today was like my third time wearing them. So that was strange. Um, even if I wore them every single day for the six weeks that I've had them, it shouldn't be doing that. Not for a $200 shoe, okay? So I went in um, and exchanged them really quick. It was a seamless process. It was a seamless process. I um I winded up not even getting I winded up not even getting the original shoe that I had. It just kind of put a bad taste in my mouth about the style of the shoe. I mean, maybe I got a bad badge. I don't know, but I didn't feel comfortable getting that shoe anymore. I wanted the shoe that I have on now, this one, but this is a new style and they said that those styles completely sold out everywhere. I even checked Nordstrom and Nordstrom didn't have the size that I would have needed. So I wound up going with these. 
which again it wasn't my first choice but since we're going on vacation and i do want a sandal i needed to choose she had also given me the option to get a store credit and the shoes will be restocking in like oopsie she had given me the option to do a store credit and the shoes would restock in june but like i said we're going on vacay so um i just winded up getting these the basic like tory tory birches but i do plan on going back and getting the shoes that i just showed you on my feet in black once they restock because i really want those so there's that i think what i'm going to do now is go to trader joe's since i'm down this way and again didn't plan on doing this but once I realized it and called the store, Anaya had just went down for a nap and I was like, I asked her, I was like, should I go now or should I go when Anaya wakes up? He was like, just go now. So I'm here about to run a Trader Joe's really quick, see if they have any like fun, tasty stuff, which I know they will. And um, then shoot back home. Oh my goodness, I haven't been to Trader Joe's in so long and they are no longer doing the waiting outside. You used to have to wait in line. Oh my god, I'm so excited about this experience, y'all. You used to have to wait in line. Now you can just walk straight in. So excited. Yes. Oh. Some avocados. Or should I get some mini avocados? Let's do some mini avocados. all right so i just got back from trader joe's let me show you guys what i got and i'm actually really excited about all the things that i got because nearly everything that i purchased are items that i've never tried before if you see the stains on my shirt don't don't even worry about it because I was so hungry that I started eating some of this stuff in the car because I told you guys I did not plan on going to the mall. So I went to that dentist appointment early this morning and then I went almost straight to the mall and I didn't even have a chance to eat breakfast and I spilled some of the buffalo chicken dip. In there, okay, so there's that. All right, so I just got, mm, I got some baby carrots. Mm, that's neither here nor there. I actually picked up this buffalo chicken dip and um, this is one of the things that I opened up in the car. Um, I actually really like this. It's a little bit thinner. You know, like if you go to a party or something like that, the buffalo chicken dip is typically really thick, really full of chicken. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It does taste like buffalo chicken dip. Um, I don't know if you're supposed to eat it warm or if they recommend eating it warm. I would eat it cold or warm. If you warm it up, I will put more cheese on top. I also got the everything but the bagel dip. This is my first time trying this. this. is another thing that I was eating in the car. I actually don't like this. This is, um, oh, no wonder. Oh, dang. I wish I would have saw that. It's not cream cheese based. I thought it was cream cheese based with everything but the bagel seasoning in it, and it's not. It is Greek yogurt based. That's why I was like, some is off with this with this taste. That's what it is, it's the yogurt. Um, but other than that, I don't think that it has a really intense everything but the bagel um, or everything bagel seasoning. Um, all I really tasted was salt. I really just ate like one scoop and I was done with that. I picked up these cauliflower thins. So cute. <laughs> um, my mom told me about these and it says it's a delicious bread substitute. How many comes in a pack? I think it's three or four in a pack. And I got two packs because I figured we would like these. So you can use them as sandwiches. I plan to use them as a sandwich or maybe as a taco or even as many little pizzas. I thought that would be great. Um, I've picked this up before. These are just mini avocado, um, mini guacamoles. Um, so yeah, there's that. I just got some mini avocado. I don't know if this is new or just, or if I have just never seen it, but they have fully cooked pork belly. Y'all know I love me some ramen and I always buy the Mike's Mighty Good Ramen from Walmart or 
they pretty much sell it anywhere. And the one thing that my ramen is always missing is pork belly. And I just ate my last cup of ramen yesterday. So I wish I would have known that Trader Joe's sold pork belly like this and I could definitely top my ramen with it. But I might just heat it up and eat it by itself or eat it with a vegetable or something like that. So. I also bought some tofu, some extra firm tofu, and um, I just plan to use this as like a meat substitute for one of our meals, maybe put it in a stir fry um, or something like that. So, and I just got it plain. Um, you guys have seen this before. This is one of my faves, the hot pico de gallo. It says that it's hot, but it's really not hot. It's actually pretty mild. Um, so yeah, if I wanna make like taco salads or whatever. Oh, by the way, everything that I purchase is like gluten-free, healthy type of stuff. You guys are not going to see like the regular stuff that I normally get because we are going back to eating right. And I'm going to just leave it at that. Um, I also picked up these jicama wraps. Um, jicama, I think it's a vegetable. So these jicama wraps, I felt like would be good for tacos. I love tacos. So I was trying to find like a healthy alternative to uh, flour tortillas. They do have almond flour tortillas, but they were, I know I already told them about it. Um, they uh, have just as much carbs as regular tortillas. So I left them there. I also picked up these two seasonings, onion salt, which I thought would be nice when I don't feel like chopping up an onion and crying. Um, and then citrusy garlic seasoning. That just sounded really good. Like citrusy garlic probably tastes so good on like seafood or something. So I got those. I got a lemon and a lime. And then, oh yeah, also um, the, most of the things that you're seeing here have little to no carbs and little to no sugar. Um, I went in the dressing aisle and I was really hoping that the Asian sesame ginger uh, dressing didn't have a lot of sugar, but it had too much. So I had to go with my old faithful. This cilantro dressing is so freaking good. And this one has no sugar, I think. Yeah, this one has zero grams of sugar. So super excited to make anything with that. And then the last thing that I got were uh, rice cauliflower stir fry, which I am excited about as well. I loved rice cauliflower. We love rice cauliflower. So I got two of these. And I figured Trader Joe's regular uh, um, fried rice is good. So I just knew that, I just know that this is gonna be good as well. So that's all I got from um, Trader Joe's. As I try things, I'll let you guys know in the vlogs what they taste like, if they nasty. I don't know, but yeah, that's all I got. All right, y'all, so we are all having cauliflower fried rice with tofu. I will give you the verdict when we are done. I'll give you Henry's verdict when he's done because I didn't tell him that it's tofu, so he might think that it's chicken until he puts it in his mouth, but it looks really good so far. Mama's is skeptical about it. It's a little cube of tofu. Oh. She was just biting Hi. off of, Hi. She was just, good job, baby. She was just biting off of the one piece of tofu, knowing daggone well she could put the whole thing in her mouth. She was playing Hi. around with it. Hey, baby. Mama. You don't like tofu? Hmm? Try it. Yeah, try it. Good job for trying it again. Good job. Yay. Mm -mm. Can't have this. What you say, Mama? Anaya thinks she's slick. Huh? huh? It's not hot. Huh. It's, no, it's not hot at all. Mm -hmm. That's her new thing, y'all. Knowing when food is hot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I never really give her hot mm -hmm. food, but if it's too warm, she'll be like, mm -hmm. hot. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> that tofu cauliflower fried rice was so bomb. Like, I would eat that right again for dinner. Oh my goodness. First of all, the tofu. Mm -hmm. Wanna see yourself? Mm -hmm. Wanna see yourself? Who's that? Mm -hmm. Naya? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, the tofu has a texture of, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say shrimp, but that's the closest mm -hmm. I could, or maybe like a very soft type of fish. Um, I don't know, it, it just melted in your mouth. I didn't miss chicken or shrimp. I didn't miss any of that. It was delicious and I actually um, 
I seasoned the cauliflower fried rice with the citrusy garlic seasoning and the onion salt, which I typically wouldn't do um, because they're not like Asian. Mama, hold on, because they're not like Asian flavors. Come here. I wouldn't do it because they're not like Asian flavors. Um, so that was my first time using it, and y'all, that must be so good. Are you gonna eat that, or are you just trying to play with it? Give me this. No, 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 no. No, mm -mm -mm -mm. you just trying to play. Mm -mm. Um, Henry's on a call right now, but I just peeked around the corner. His plate is empty. So that was good. That was a win. Now I wish I would have got more tofu. <laughs> that um. That recipe used like half of the package. Um, so, I mean, I can get tofu from any grocery store, but. You love mama? Do you love mama? Can you say yes? Yes. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I'm sitting here like literally editing the vlog that you are watching and I realized that I never told you guys the outcome from the dentist. Um, it was actually a really great appointment. I felt like the, the dentist was uh, very knowledgeable. Um, so the guy that I went, the doctor that I went to see yesterday, um, he was an actual cosmetic dentist. The first quote that I got back in like November, um, that was like my regular dentist who does like my regular cleanings that I just happened to get a quote um, regarding my teeth bonding. Um, and he told me that I would get six veneers, um, six veneers going straight across and um, some some other things. I can't remember how much it cost. I gotta look back in that vlog to see how much he quoted me, but just for the veneers, um, just for the quote that I got was just for the six veneers. Um, so like I said, the guy that I went to yesterday was an actual cosmetic dentist. This is what he does on a regular basis. You know, these are the types of patients that he sees. He recommended, um, obviously, teeth whitening, which is something I wanted to get anyway because, um, yeah, you want to whiten your teeth before you get a, a, another tooth like put in to match your teeth. So teeth whitening, um, and he did not recommend veneers. He actually recommend um, recommended crowns. And the difference is, is that a veneer, it just goes on the surface, the front of your tooth, whereas though a crown completely like encapsulates your tooth. So if this is your tooth hanging on, the crown goes up, just like that, up on the entire tooth. Um, and the reason that he recommended that is because and it really could be because I haven't been running my retainers, which I need to. They're literally sitting on the kitchen counter. Um, my teeth don't, like your bottom row of your teeth and your top row of your teeth, your top row is supposed to overlap your bottom row just a little bit. Mine more so sits up and down a little bit. It has the slightest little overlap, but not a lot. And so because of that, if he was to put bonding or a veneer, which are the cheaper options, on my teeth, my bottom teeth would hit those those veneers or the or those uh, bonded teeth, and um, eventually it would chip away. Um, and he said that I would probably be right back in his office in two to three years, which is not something that I want. You don't want to waste your money and then you know feel unhappy and feel like you know you just wasted your money for something. So um, he said the longer term. Uh, option would definitely be the crowns. Um, the crowns are a little bit more expensive. They're like a thousand and some change a tooth. Um, and he only recommended me getting the bonding on the two teeth that I came in for and not like all six. <laughs> um, and then also since my teeth are already like on a peg on a slant whatever you want to call them it would be little to no shaving down on my teeth because they're already tiny um so basically he said teeth whitening um and then the crowns is like thirty four hundred dollars which is actually not bad again i can't remember how much the guy told me before um but i was i was pretty okay with what he quoted um but what i still need to do is i need to call our insurance and see if i thought we had like a hsa or fsa so i gotta call and say if we have any money in that bank to um go towards the purchase and um yeah 
basically move forward so um that's that i really like i said i really want to get this done and i really need to stop procrastinating i would love it if they were completely done by our june vacation henry's 30th birthday trip that we're going on believe it or not we will be in Jamaica for Henry's 30th birthday, but again, that's only because his friend is getting married literally on Henry's birthday. <laughs> um, so that's the only reason we're going to Jamaica. Otherwise, we will be spending his birthday elsewhere. And so his real birthday trip is at the end of June. So I would love to have him by the end of June, but I'm not quite sure if that's going to be possible. But you got to get impressions and stuff like that. It's just a lot that goes into it outside of the payment part. So we shall see. I'm going to wrap up the vlog now. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Peace.